And in other news, friends, this one, I thought I would be surprised, but I'm not, because things are getting so bad nowadays. Anyways, DePaul University, the largest Catholic university in the U.S., actually prevented an on-campus organization from displaying a pro-life poster, suggesting that it was provocative and hurtful. Now, this is a Catholic university. Normally, these universities are pro-life, and actually, it is a pro-life university. So why would they forbid this poster? Well, friends, this is the poster. It says, Unborn Lives Matter. Now, does this remind you of any other movement? Of course, Black Lives Matter. And so, this is the situation. They come to the campus officials and say, we want to promote pro-life, this is our poster, we want to post it. They say no. It has to be redesigned before you can display it. But why? Dennis Holch Snyder, the president of DePaul University, writes his reasoning and the reasoning of the college officials in this letter online, which I will have down in the link for you to view in the description for you to look at. And it says, I'm paraphrasing basically, it says that they are committed, the university is committed to developing arguments, you know, and, ex and exploring issues that, you know, may, may be controversial, maybe, you know, very emotional. But when these things resolve to bigotry and hatred towards other people, that's when they start drawing the line and saying, no, you cannot do that um, to their own members of the community. And so basically, they're saying this is happening. Bigotry is happening, hate, you know, all this stuff is happening under the guise, under the cover of free speech. And so what they're really saying is that this poster is provoking, negatively provoking, the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, friends, do you think that this is really the case? Do you think that that's really what's happening? Do you see this poster provoking or negatively affecting the Black Lives Matter movement? Personally, I do not. But what do you think? I think this is basically an excuse to say, you know, you can't show this poster. But this is the reason that we're going to give you to justify why we're saying don't do it. But leave your comments down below, guys. Leave your comments down below. And of course, the college Republicans, the ones who actually wanted to post this poster, they replied and said, you know, they're appalled by this. They, they're saying the university is censoring pro-life messaging and protecting the Black Lives Matter movement, which is very interesting. They said that it was in no way meant to mock or undermine the Black Lives Matter movement, and I frankly agree with them. But anyways, let's keep going here. It seems as if, they're saying, the university is trashing the very Catholic and American values that it claims to be grounded upon, which is very interesting. But what do you guys think? Because the Catholic catechism actually condemns abortion in, in very obvious and clear terminology, describing it as a moral evil, gravely contrary to the moral law. And so friends, the school has banned this poster. Pro-life school, banning pro-life advertising and pro-life messaging. Friends, we are living in the last days. This is not a joke, this just happened recently. And so, it's happening, friends. We are in those days when we need to definitely seek the Lord in prayer, study the word of God, and be in that relationship with Jesus Christ because he is coming back soon. But friends, what do you guys think? Do you think this is actually undermining or affecting the Black Lives Matter movement in any way, shape, or form? Or is this just the university's excuse for blocking this uh, poster from being shown? Leave your comments down below, stay vigilant, stay in prayer, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care, guys, and God bless.